Welcome to Shout One of the Transhuman Series. Hmm. Take a good deep breath with it. Hmm. Something different. Hmm. So there's something different in, in the air, in the energy. You can sense it if you take a good deep breath and get out of your mind for a moment. Oh. As the first ascended master uh, into this club, into this human club, I, I would like to take this moment to invite all of the other Ascended Masters, both those who are embodied here on Earth and those who are in the other realms, to really meld into the and. It's not so much about Heaven and Earth or this realm and that. It's about the and, the many. Because here is something so special, such a history that is embedded in, into this wall. A history of your journey, your many, many lifetimes. It's the wall of joy, the wall of being the transhuman. And on the other wall, what Caldra has called the big crimson wall, and that wall represents the art of life and the act of life. It's a beautiful wall, and it's not just flat because you're not just flat. It, it has dimension. It has character in it. it it has artwork in it. And when you stand here today, any time you come to visit, any time you just sit in this energy, feel now the connection that you've made between the other realms and this realm, the integration of the and, right here. It may just be a, a small space on a small planet in a very big universe, but what it is and what it represents is bringing and to this earth. The many, the allness, no longer a linear, simplistic life. There are now five Shambra who are walking this planet as embodied, realized masters. Five. Wow. <laughs> Huge. That's all it took to create the momentum for everybody else. One thing that was unique in each and every one of them, uh, of these five, and who might be watching in online or here, one thing that was unique was they had a lot of struggles. You know, it's such a struggle to try to be a good human. And it doesn't work. It does not work. And for each and every one of these five, after going through a lot of struggles and trying to make themselves better, and trying to make themselves spiritual, or, or just nice, or not so flawed, or not with uh, weaknesses, after a lot of struggling with this, and a lot of crazy dreams, a lot of crazy dreams, they kind of work hand in hand. They woke up one morning, each and every one of them, one morning, and suddenly they just got it. And it was such a feeling of relief. Uh, no tension, no, no wondering what's going to happen next. And not because they thought about not thinking about what was going to happen next, trying not to think about it, but there just wasn't the thought. They didn't have to try to think about the natural state of enlightenment. It was just there. It was actually a feeling of simplicity and grace, one that cannot be thought of in the mind. Not, you can't think your way into grace or simplicity. You can allow it. And it happened to these five because, in a way, they gave up. They stopped. They were so fragile, they were afraid they were going to blow apart, and they probably would have, but they just stopped. And they stopped trying. They stopped working at it. And when they did, that momentum, that directive of fulfillment, was <laughs> finally able to come in. If there was any message that they had for each and every one of you, which I, I asked them, uh, any message from five who have actually allowed it, 
be stop trying so hard. Stop working on your human self. It will get you no further. Just stop it right now. Be the human and be everything else that comes along. That's it. And then then you'll have a night of dreams and you'll wake up in the morning and you'll have that sense of clear and clean because that directive of fulfillment that bringing everything together is there i i use the word transhuman because there is this intellectual scientific technical movement that uh, is seeking to do the very thing that i've been talking about that these five enlightened shambra actually did they're seeking to perfect the human. They're seeking to uh, make the human potentially immortal. Uh, they, are, they are seeking to avoid death. So I intentionally named this series Transhuman because you're going to, we're going to go a little bit different path with a little bit different net result. Uh, we are transcending the singularity of being just a human and going into the and uh, with a tremendous release then of the burden of the human. What does this mean? What does this mean? Well, it's the circumpunct, the the circle with the dot in it. Remember that I've always said the dot was source, was where you came from. The circle represented your experiences, your. Uh, Everything, your wisdom, basically. And you would have thought that the, th- the dot never changed because it was always source. It was where you came from. It was pure consciousness surrounded by all of its experience. But something did change. And now that's become a plus sign. The circumpunct will never be the same again. You know what a plus sign is? It means and. It's also expansion in all directions. And if we could depict this in a uh, more than a two-dimensional way, uh, those pluses, the the radiance, would be going out in every direction, including inwards. True expansion is in all ways, all directions. So that's what this represents. That's the new consciousness on the planet, and that's what basically you've created. Death is an absolute lie. It is an absolute lie, and it is one of those lies that's so ingrained that people actually believe it, a- a- and then people die. <laughs> it's too bad, because it is a lie. It's an illusion. Uh, one could argue that the physical body dies, and therefore death is real, but it does not need to be. Uh, the physical body does not need to die as you know death to be. Uh, heart attacks, disease, uh, strokes, uh, or just gradual deterioration that doesn't need to die. Uh, you are going to be incorporating, you are going to be bringing in the attributes of your physical self into your I amness, and you're not going to die. You will transition out of a locked in, limited, uh, and, and oftentimes painful mode of existence. You will transition out of that, but isn't that what you've wanted? But you will not die. In order to go into our transhumanism, our version of it, uh, which simply means going out of singular human self, it's important that right now we transcend death itself. (laughs) 